Hola y bienvenidos, hola y bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo del canal Estamos aquí de vuelta con Life is Strange 2 Parece que nos vamos con el padre en este caso de, de Chris eh, Ya sabéis, el vecino pequeño, no eh, amigo ahora de Daniel Que conocimos en la especie de demo técnica o, o esa especie de historia gratuita ¿no? Que nos dieron con Life is Strange, las aventuras del Capitán Spirit Como veis está ampliamente relacionado con este Life is Strange 2 y bueno, ya ha sido hora, ¿no? En el segundo episodio hemos llegado, hemos conocido a Chris y la verdad que todo ahora va bien. Parece que vamos a una especie de centro comercial, creo que es a comprar un árbol, ¿no? O algo así, si no me equivoco. Así que lo que, voy, lo, lo que me ha gustado es que hemos visto cosas que hicimos en la demo hace tanto tiempo que aún me acuerdo de ellas, ¿no? Y que aquí pues se ha visto cómo han evolucionado además. Me ha gustado mucho todo esto y bueno, parece que la aventura de nuestros héroes continúa en este caso. Lo que digo, por fin tenemos algo de seguridad al estar con... En este caso los Reynolds, que son los abuelos, por, son los padres de la madre de los chicos, de Karen De la cual no sabemos mucho, la verdad, pero bueno, vamos a ver qué pasa ahora A ver Oh, otro perrete Ok, buddy, ¿estás listo? Yeah. Hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. <laughs> bueno, eso de que tiene cuidado es un poco relevante a veces. Nobody sees us. Vale, vale. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Enano. Vamos allá, Enano. Chris now? Vete, va. Yeah, let's go. But bueno, pues lo veo. Peligro, eh. Peligro siempre. Giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. No. Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. You help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Everything all right? All good. Is that a yo-yo? <laughs> Daniel had one back home. <gasps> Betty loved this. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. Cartel. Too bad we can't come and see. Huh? Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. A ver. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality. Dar dinero? It's not much, but... 
she probably needs it more than me right now. Vale, a ver. La verdad que canta bien, eh. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. She looks so out of place here. Cool. Yeah. La verdad que está bastante guay, eh. A ver un montón, coleccionador, a ver si puedo haber algo relacionado con esto. Es que está la guitarra, por eso, tío. Me acordaba de lo de la guitarra, pero. Tal vez no tenga alguna pegatina o algo, ¿no? A ver, o a lo mejor tengo que conseguir algo más. She looks so out of place here. Cool. Well, finally, someone who dares speaking with me. Hope you're vaccinated. What? Uh, no, I mean. I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No, no way. Just. Here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well. What do you think? Mm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a <laughs> secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> And what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, 
You always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Goodbye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. <laughs> see you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. My dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? No. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Pues la guitarra, yo no sé qué. Espera. Ah, pua. Vale. This must belong to the girl. Esperaba algo más, en plan, como que le cogíamos alguna pegatina o algo, pero bueno. Parece que, que no. Pero bueno, angustia adolescente. Bueno. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. I I know it sucks, but Daniel deserves it too. Right? Things seem kinda heavy between Charles and Chris. But they're pretty cool. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Ah, el tema es cuando volvamos seguro que se lía con el tema de que Clay se enfada porque no se ha conocido. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> bueno, estaba rápido lo del mercado. Yo me esperaba algo en plan <coughs> como super largo y tal, pero no, la verdad que ha estado bastante, bastante bien. Vale, a ver qué pasa ahora. Hmm. 
Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Cassidy? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. What? Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Yes, very much. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Thank you. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad over here. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. <risa> me flipa mucho lo que digo eh, el tema de lo de la, la imaginación, Hello. lo de Chris la verdad que es algo increíble pero ojo aquí parece que aún no han vuelto los abuelos ¿no? Claire Steven Looks like grandma and grandpa haven't come back from church yet Well at least they won't yell at us for going out That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just huh? like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come vale. on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Vamos a ver. I just don't get why they locked the room. What's the big deal? We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm 
I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Yes, Daniel. I know. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still. No key here. Clothes. <laughs> Old stuff. But definitely no hidden key. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. Shit, these are Christmas presents. Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? Yeah. Not much to see in here. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Daniel! You really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can't. Uh, no, no. Okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Yes. Ahora sí. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. I found vale. one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Not that much left. Where do you Blah. think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? No. What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left. I don't know when I know. Vamos a meter musiquilla. I think it's not plugged. I miss my music. Okay, Daniel. This playlist is boring as hell. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I miss my music. Hey, it's an enchufe, no? <sighs> the fuck is wrong with this? 
Oh. Hiding spot. Smart. So, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? No, bueno, parece que tenemos otro trofeo en este caso. Y el de todos los coleccionables, ¿no? Vale, bien. Vamos a seguir mirando un poquito aquí un poema. Cristales, fotos, foto familiar. They looked happy. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... You listen. Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool. I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. So Friend of my well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Good care of you. Man, Hola, Karen. Muchas gracias por escribirme. Sure listening to her own voice. Emma. These pictures are so random. Did she take you with her when she? Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Been on trips? I wonder my mom loved it so much. Bah. You're not that fluffy anymore. Can like to take pictures of strangers when we walk down the streets. Ojo, los patines son unos fila del mundo real, eh. Buena esa. This playlist is boring as hell. Ojo, esto estaba debajo del peluche, ¿no? Why would Claire lock these up in here? A ver. Oh. Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. What? Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. O sea, la madre está viva. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church. We were just looking. For answers. 
And, uh... Was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom's stuff. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy, after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Usa, usa los poderes, usa. Vamos, vamos a intentar levantarlo. We got this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. Thank you. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's the sheriff. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friend from this house. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. We'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. Buah, momentazo triste otra vez, pero es lo que digo, es que es increíble cómo lo han hilado todo, eh. Wow. We'll see you as soon as we can. Okay. Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up there.
this way. No! Ostras! What all? Me acaba de reventar más la cabeza, o sea, de verdad os lo digo, creo que probablemente sea una de las historias <coughs> más tristes de la saga, o sea, es lo que digo, eh, realmente te hace pensar cada decisión que tomas es importante, macho, es que, wow. Porque se creía que tenía poderes. You said I should be more careful, but because of you, I didn't do anything, and I could have. Hey, you don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is dead? You could see the car slow down before, so Chris will be fine. Trust me. You... you promise? Promise. Sean... I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so... Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Bueno, pues al final vamos a subirnos al trencito, ¿no? Digo yo, madre mía.
Bueno, pues parece que con esto, claro, la huida de los hermanos continúa. Lo que ya hemos tenido un poquito de paz en este segundo episodio con el tema de encontrarnos eh, con los reinos, los abuelos de por parte de la madre de los chicos. Hemos descubierto que la madre está viva, que yo que no lo sabía por lo menos, y bueno, por lo visto que está buscándolos de alguna manera reunirse con ellos. Y no sé, han pasado cosas. Chris, espero de verdad, o sea, decídmelo en comentarios si alguien lo sabe, pero espero de verdad que esté vivo. Eh, me, 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 me ha sentado entre eso y la muerte de Zeta ha sido como... Buah. Creo que la muerte de Zeta no se puede hacer nada para evitarlo, pero es que espero que a Chris no la hayan dejado parapléjico o yo qué sé, es que de verdad, o sea, ahora veremos un poco con las elecciones, veré con qué lo he hecho mal, con qué a lo mejor lo he hecho la mejor opción, eh, qué ha pasado en cada cosa, ¿no? Pero, a ver, has lanzado la bola... Vale, espíritus libres, con esto te hemos completado el capítulo 2, vale. Eh... Has permitido que Daniel matara al humano. A ver, eh, hemos lanzado la bola de nieve a Daniel. Sí, vale, parece que la mayoría de gente ha hecho eso. Has lanzado la bola de nieve bien. O sea, se podía hacer bien lo de la bola de nieve, vale. Genial. Has rezado con Claire y con Daniel. Eh, Le has confesado a Stephen que Daniel tiene poderes. Has fingido no saber nada, vale. Eh, ok, luego tenemos por aquí. Ya eh, has ayudado haciendo más tareas. Muy bien. Le has dicho a Daniel que había hecho bien en salvar a Chris. Vale. Eh, no has entrado en tu perfil desde el ordenador de Stephen Has usado el teléfono para llamar a Laila Vale, casi nadie la ha llamado, obviamente Vale Te has ganado la confianza de Chris y te habla de su padre Has decidido proteger el secreto de Daniel No has escuchado la canción de Cassidy hasta el final Vaya eh, No has dibujado para Chris Ah, se podía dibujar... Para Chris, ostras, eso ni me he enterado. Ha robado un regalo para Daniel. Ok, se podía comprar algo, pero no tenía dinero. Eh, vale, has mm, hablado seriamente con Charles de sus problemas y no te has involucrado. Has dejado que. Y se ha hecho daño en la pierna. Oh, o sea, de la otra manera no se hubiera hecho. Jope. El policía os ha perseguido y Chris ha sido atropellado. Ostras. Daniel ha seguido diciendo palabrotas, eh, Daniel ha perdido a los dados, Daniel no ha matado al puma, no ha podido en enterrar a Seta y ha accedido a rezar. Vale. Daniel ha ordenado el cuarto, eso es bueno. Vale. Has evitado que Daniel usara su poder. Daniel no usaba su poder para salvar a Chris. Daniel nos ha culpado por el accidente gris, vale, o sea, eso creo que lo he hecho mal seguro. Daniel no ha disfrutado sus regalos de la angustia, porque ha pasado el gris. Oh, sh. Bueno, aquí lo tenemos, espero que os haya gustado, que os haya divertido este segundo episodio, lo que digo, como veis, las decisiones importan realmente. Y bueno, eh, en el próximo capítulo seguro que tenemos más aventuras increíbles con este Life is Strange 2, así que yo no me lo perdería. Como siempre, si os ha gustado el vídeo, déjate el buen like y nos vemos en la próxima.